Let's answer the five most controversial questions. Is sucking your own dick gay? Do you know why the tip of your rocket、uh-huh. is a head? Like why it's shaped like a mushroom? Hi guys, welcome back to episode four. This is crazy. We're already on episode four, and we're back with Mr. Ty, your favorite person that was on the last podcast、Hello. we watched. It's really exciting. Thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast so far. It's great to see the ratings going up. I hope we can reach five stars. So if you guys are able to rate these podcasts, it would help me a lot. Thank you so much. Let's answer the five most controversial questions. Okay. Controversial. Yeah, that's where you want to go. Yeah, you want to get canceled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is more of like a not really controversial actually, but it's like a like a question to know. Like, do you know why the tip of your head on um let's call it a mushroom, but it's your personal mushroom. Okay. How do we call it? The tip of your 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 D. <laughs> What's called? Okay. Your rocket. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Do you know why the tip of your rocket、uh-huh. is a head? Like why it's shaped like a mushroom? Why it's shaped like a mushroom? Yeah, I can't say that I know that. Well, think about it. Why would our body form a mushroom tip head on the tip of our D?、Mm. Like there has to be for everything in our body. There's a reason. I'm assuming for, for sealing or for like. What are you trying to seal? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, your rocket is your sexual reproductive organ, yeah. Yeah. So I assume, like, when it goes in, the the shape of the tip kind of seals whatever is happening there. Yeah, and it kind of like makes sure this the stuff goes in and produces a kid, right? Oh, so like after you put your nut juice in them, it seals. Yeah. The hallway. Like physical, physiologically. Okay, I can see that. It actually doesn't. Okay, well, so you're thinking if it's sealed like this? Oh, okay, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually not. Okay. So it's actually a scoop. So when you've had your previous nut juice inside there, it actually scoops the old nut juice out to allow more room for fresh nut juice to go in the vagine. That is very interesting. Yeah, I would not have guessed this. No, that's what I think. I think that's what it is. Like if we for real. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta have、right. like. I mean, it has to have a fresh fish in yeah, the sea. Yeah. You know,、yeah. you don't want old fish that's expired, and then you just pull it out. <laughs> Expire. No, they turn yellow, bro. <laughs> have you ever seen yellow nut?、Uh, oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah,、Now、I think that's like expired、it. nut juice when it's just、like、dead. Yeah. So that's when they die. Or when you have a nut in a while, one time this dude nut, and it was yellow, and I was like, <laughs> I'm not even joking, it was actually yellow, and、uh, if you're out there and you've never seen yellow nut juice, that means you、right. must be off a lot. Right, that's right. <laughs> because <off> <laughs> you never let yours expire. So it's it's so fresh. Yes. That's crazy. Of course I、yellow? have. Of course I have. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. This is a very basic question and has a very specific answer to it. So you better get this right. What is the best ethnicity to date? I think.、Um, why? Are you, why are you blinking at me so much? I mean, my preference, I guess, is Asian. Okay, but what type of Asian then? What type? We have to get that granular.、Uh-huh. Oh man, Vietnamese girls be wild and <laughs> wild and good, wild and bad. <laughs> I thought you say Japanese. Actually, I think. Well, I've never dated a Japanese girl, but. But you dated Viet before.、Mm-hmm. Okay, how、Viet. are they? They're wild in bed. Yeah. Are they like crazy? Because I'm not full Viet. I'm actually half Taiwanese, so I'm like not really crazy. So I wouldn't know what a real Viet is. I don't know. You you might be a little bit crazier.、Than... Okay, how so? I'm a crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> I can say something. I know what to say back. <laughs> Go for it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna talk about your all your issues right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But okay, so the Asian that um that I think would be the, I guess yeah, I guess I would think Japanese. But, but why? Like,、okay, what about you? Japanese. I do think 
okay why japanese i gotta know why because i have heard some things about dating japanese women hmm why i don't know, I think mostly it is because i've never dated one because i've dated a korean girl a vietnamese girl chinese girl uh i guess i've never dated yeah i've never dated japanese so i'm very curious what that's about they say that Japanese girls are pretty submissive, and that's why most people want to date a Japanese woman. Uh huh. They said that they cook, they clean, they'll give you whatever you want, and you can cheat on them. That's wild. That's what I heard. You're allowed to go and do the sus stuff with like paid women. Wait. As long as you come back home, it's okay. So they're on a whole nother level. Yeah. All of them? I don't know. But this is what I heard. So I'm not really sure exactly. That's why I was wondering, like, why? I think I heard that, too. I mean, I'm not trying to sleep with anyone else but my significant other. Let's get that straight. Yeah. Same. Let's get that I straight. Was the guy same. Okay. Maybe okay. not. Actually. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> actually, and now that I think about it, if I was a dude, I would want to. Like, maybe she'd be trying to get it in. Yeah, I really would. Cause it's like you can't. I mean, whatever. I mean, it whatever. Sucks. It sucks as a woman. Whoa. Because it sucks as a woman, you'll get pregnant. Oh yeah. You can't really. No, be a it hug. sucks for the guy too, cause he got her pregnant. I mean, unless he just yeah, but bails. Nick Cannon, though. <laughs> hey, but Nick Cannon got the money. That's he true. He be supporting all his baby moms. Look, if I had the money and that's all I had to do to get money. That's a that's a purpose right there that I'm down for. I'll Damn. go at it. You Damn. get the taste of every rainbow. I would say though that the best ethnicity to date is Vietnamese girls. Why? So one, they can cook. They're very spicy in bed. Okay. Vietnamese girls are wild and in bed. Yeah, I'd say so. They all look ABG. Mm. Most Vietnamese girls do look kind of ABG. Yeah, they go for the aesthetic. Yes. Vietnamese guys are they like to party. Okay. They like to be the center of attention. Oh, okay. Come on. Who? There's I mean, a lot. Actually. There's a lot. There's a lot of Vietnamese there, guys. I think there are a lot. Yeah. They do like to be I know a attention. lot of Vietnamese guys. They're very traditional. So they do like the idea of a woman that cooks and cleans. Okay. Okay. Um, they say that the nail salon <laughs> is like the ceiling. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like how... <laughs> Like how Filipinos do nursing uh -huh. is to Vietnamese with nail salon. <laughs> <laughs> is that mean? Like, these things I'm reading, okay? It's not coming from my mouth. I'm just no, reading those it. are her thoughts. No, I'm just reading it somewhere. Those are her okay? nighttime it's thoughts. It's called Reddit, okay? No, I don't believe you, bro. Black Let me Reddit. see this shit. Real quick. <laughs> <It's> black. <No. laughs> it's all screen. Okay. 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 I can. I mean, I don't, I don't think Vietnamese guys are toxic in particular. I think, I think, uh, who might even be more toxic, Korean guys. Wait, why? Well, I think it's kind of true, actually. Right? They're kind yeah. of, uh, cause I know, I know a couple, you know, they're kind of aggressive, maybe. Usually you see them as that way, right? Or they have, I think maybe in Korea, they just have higher standards. Maybe that's why. By like an, on, like an outlook on yeah, the outside. On the outside. Okay, yeah, absolutely. On the outside. Very I mean, high even like financials and stuff too, I feel like. It's true. Super high expectations. Mm hmm Were you dated Korean before? Yes. And she was like was she like that? No, nah, she was the opposite actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was Wait, super you know sweet. Then? Oh, it's just stuff that I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, Reddit just, too. Yeah. <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stuff that I see sometimes. No 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 one I know in particular. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the last guy I dated was Korean. Oh, he, yeah. He was half Korean and half white, something. Oh, yeah, you told me. Yeah, no, he cared a lot about how he looked, mm -hmm. a lot about how he spoke, um, like, and, like, dressed, like, even hitting the gym. Sometimes I just want to wake up and I just want to go in my pajamas and hit the gym. Yeah. No, nah, it's like cologne, dressed up gelled hair, had to shower before the gym, which then you're going to also shower after the gym, which I thought was so weird. And then like really nice shoes and stuff like that. Nice car. Yeah. Everything had to be nice. But then they also expect you to dress just like that as well. Yeah. They just have uh, an expectation. Yes. What about K-Rage? K-Rage? Yeah. It's like a thing where... um. Koreans, they call it K rage. Koreans are known for being very like ragey, especially when they drink a oh. lot. Oh, because Koreans drink a lot. Yeah, I think I get that mostly, probably just from me watching like hella K dramas. Like you just see that. Yeah, 
You see that in the K-drama. I've never seen it in real life, I guess. Like, I feel like the Koreans I know that drink, they just act the normal way people get. Just a little rambunctious. Well, they they laugh unfiltered, a lot more, yeah. unfiltered. Vietnamese actually do drink a lot too. A lot of honey, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I can. I don't know why. It's like Corona too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they always put like lime in there. All right. Do you wet your toothbrush before or after applying the paste? I don't wet my toothbrush at all. <gasps> Yo, you're weird. Nah, I just no, actually weird. It's just, like alien status. I just take on my toothbrush put the toothpaste on and i just go at it it's dry it's not dry the toothpaste has moisture to no, it no i don't what toothpaste do you use i use a uh, sensodine so do i yeah it's fine it's dry Ty. it's not bro try it the next time you brush your teeth i and you'll have see. been that's the thing no you I've have been trying it. to adapt is it good well, why or bad? are you adapting to it i thought that's good you're supposed to not use water. yeah you're not supposed to because the water is supposed to like wash all that shit or something so do you rinse after you brush your teeth i don't rinse <gasps> you're disgusting i don't rinse oh my god that's well i rinse i wait i tend to wait 10 15 minutes and i rinse with mouthwash i don't rinse with water Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so you you have a full night routine with brushing your teeth. I mean, it's just two things. It's brush my teeth, wait 10, 15 minutes, rinse, and I'm done. Aren't you like drooling as you're waiting 10, 15 minutes? No, I spit out the stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll brush my teeth, and then I'll spit the stuff out, and I'll wash my toothbrush, and then I'll wait. The next question is, is sucking your own dick gay? Hmm. That's a hard question. I feel like I feel like it is. I feel like if if you have the urge, I mean, I guess it's because your own dick, right? You're not sucking someone else's dick. That would make you gay, no? Mm-hmm. I assume. My thing is like I think it's I think it's not. I think gay it's not gay. Because. Because. <laughs> what <laughs> is it like? The same as using your hand. Yeah. So it's basically the same as using your hand. Yeah, so like sure. gay, you, that's a stretch. It's not gay for you to use your own hand to jerk off. So it shouldn't be gay if you want uh, to put your mouth over it. And it's only weird if you nut <sighs> in your mouth. <laughs> it should only be used as curiosity. Okay. Or oh, no, that I think that makes a lot of sense. I think Oh, I mean, I don't know about the about sucking your dick part, but if you nut in your mouth, I definitely think that's probably gay. Yeah. Right? That's pro- there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's probably gay. But I don't know if I ever would. I just, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about if I would do it. Because, you know, as a guy, I, I masturbate. I use my hand. Mm-hmm. That's not gay. No, not at all. It's normal. But if I put my mouth on it, I can't even imagine it. Then but. you'll gu- guys would actually realize that it's not as easy as they might think. Yeah, I don't think... Because guys pretend, I don't know if they pretend, but they always tell me like, oh, I could probably suck my dick better than you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like as a guy, like you, I guess there's a difference in knowing what feels good and knowing how to produce that feeling. So I think sometimes guys might think, oh, yeah, because it's mine, I know how I like it. Because it's the same like when we when we masturbate, right? As guys, we know how to do it to where we can not in like less than a minute. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Right, but some girls can do that too. Actually, got that good, good. Oh, really? Yeah, the good pussy, the good gucks. They let you nut in less than a minute. One pump. Oh, it's chunk. never happened to me, but. Oof. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Die. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find one for you. Oh no, I'm good. I think uh, it's an experience. You gotta experience it once. The pussy. You you really can't. You've never ever nutted before, like a minute. Never. Oh shit! No once. Oh, okay, or they're <laughs> just the guys you're seeing are just one bombs. I must be broke. Oh, okay, shit. whatever, bro. Jesus. But yeah, I've never. I mean, I feel like I always try not to, though. Is, is my thing. Why? I don't understand that. Well, like, why can't guys just know when they want to? Because once we know, it's done. But isn't that the, like the best part? Is like, isn't doesn't it suck having to like hold it in? Not really. Oh, really? Like for me, I guess I still enjoy the process and it still feels good. I just don't nut, and then I just hold it and I just keep going. We just keep going and going and going, and then at the end when I'm tired, then yeah. Oh. Like no, not guy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like 
I think uh, I mostly enjoy. Like, I'm the type of guy that enjoys it when they enjoy it. So I don't want to oh, not ride away. Oh, because you're a giver. Yeah. There's uh, actually a book called um, what's it called? Let her. Let her not. It. <laughs> let her finish or something like oh, that oh oh yeah that's a or more let her apt. finish first yeah yeah that no. is such a accurate good book that all men should read <laughs> let her finish first that that's what i try to do that's what i try to do you know like a lot of the guys in my past like i've faked so many o's like i'm not even joking it's like kind of sad and i didn't realize like growing up, I was was like everyone was always like, "Oh, sex is great, it's awesome." And I'm just like, eh, "It's whatever, yeah." I mean, cool. Like, you get the initial feeling, it feels really good, but I never got to feel like the actual O because like guys that I was with, like, look, I was on fuck boy train, all right. They would always not first, and like literally thirty seconds. Yo, what? Yes, and then a minute, and then I would just be like, "Oh, okay." And then I asked them because there's like when. I'm not able to. There's like this pulsing like feeling. It hurts. Almost like blue balls before a vagina. Okay. And like I literally like either I ask them like please because it's like pressure buildup. That's what it feels like. Like fluid overload. And sometimes I ask them to like just finger to like really hard to like release that pressure because it no longer feels good. Mm -hmm. And some or sometimes I'll just go home and I'll take like a freaking dildo and just <laughs> Well, I mean, like, shit. no shame for, like, you know, if you do, if you do bust early, you just couldn't hold it. That's cool. But like, like you said, like, you got to do stuff after then. Exactly. Like, no, you, got, you got to help her like, out after. You can't just nut and then turn over and you're out. They're like, night, night, time to go. Like, I, yeah, I literally toxic. had guys in the past who, like, after they were finished, they would just put their clothes on and leave. They don't wait. Like a play maple story. <laughs> <laughs> like I play Maple Story. Yeah, I guess Maple Story is that important. <laughs> Dude, I hope you let those guys go. That's wild. I'm thankful that I let those guys go. Yep. Yep. After the first time, yeah? No. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm the type The way that you said that, just deadpan. No. Because I'm not the type of person to leave somebody. Like, I just, when I know that I'm not supposed to be with them, I'll just go batshit crazy to force them to break up with me. I can't do it, Ty. I cannot break up with somebody. Why? Are you afraid of conflict? No, I think I just... My fear is regret. I have a lot of guilt and I have a lot of regret for myself. I'm not very confident in my own decisions in life but mm -hmm. because I do think from therapy that the reason why is because most of my life has been kind of my choices have been based on my parents. Okay. And what makes them proud. And especially being like Catholic, you have that like even more guilt. The Catholic guilt. Yeah. Like if I did good in school, if I got like an A or something, you know, I for it's fine. Like I totally understand my parents, so I'm not judging them, but they'll be like, make sure you thank God. And I'm like, wait, but I worked hard mm -hmm, for that. Like, mm -hmm. what did he do? I don't really want to get into like the religion, but I do think that all that like not going to church every Sunday, I always thought like, oh, God's going to punish me. So that guilt developed from there. And then the choices that my parents would make me like, you know, like, oh, go to healthcare, Or if I didn't want to go be a PA doctor, they would say like do nursing or something like, like just pick something. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what there was to choose. The options. You yeah. didn't know the options. You're so young. You were just set with all these particular options that they wanted yeah and i didn't mm -hmm. know that there was like content creation or there was real estate or something like that i was like oh my god like these are things i could have actually done but like i didn't actually take the time to go look for it mm -hmm. but going back it is the reason why i do feel like my i'm very not confident in my decisions i make just because it was like that but like i did move out at 25 and then still kind of like hoping that i can always make my parents proud just mm -hmm. in the back of your head no and that's why like i can't break up I mean, with people yeah even then it's hard like even if you moved out 25 because when you're young you're just that much more impressionable right so everything that you went through growing up is going to be hard to unravel in a way and like change out of mm -hmm. that it's just a habit or like something that just like right. is in you right yeah uh, so that's why like i i 
I stayed in the relationships longer than I should have. It's just too difficult. Also, I have like anxious attachment. I don't. Ah. I didn't like to be alone back then. I see. Yeah. I see. And I didn't want to start over, because starting over sucked. Because ah. you have to meet a new person, get to know them, make them love you. That was like always the hardest goal <laughs> back then. Every time like I, like someone had broken up with me, I was like, damn it, I have to find a new person and and form this person into falling in love with me as soon as possible <laughs> what are you saying what are you saying ty i mean i don't know if you should look at it like that i mean every time breakup happens yeah it sucks i mean it always sucks yeah that person was in your life for so long but it's like you know in health in a healthy way you have to think of the positive side like you do get to form a new connection with someone else and it can be a lot of work, but I think you know, maybe you should not make them fall in love with you. It was always like that. You I just like, got to be you. I used to create a list of things that I knew that a guy would like just so they could fall in love with me. Dude, that sounds like entrapment. That sounds like, trapping. It's like you're trapping people. I love trapping people. Yeah. <laughs> be careful, guys. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> <laughs> those of you who follow her no, i'm not like that anymore okay kind of trap i'm so i've grown okay i have therapied and grown out of that what this happened like last year or something yeah <laughs> you've grown <laughs> so much progress Look, a lot in so happens little in time. like a month okay you can agree with me i can agree you've you've uh definitely changed a lot mm-hmm. for better or for worse for better he's just trying to like quote <laughs> marriage or worse. something like that <laughs> trying to get married nah i ain't no i mean i'm not opposed to it but not right now what do you think like marriage means though what does it mean because like guys are so like they make those jokes about marriage they'll make like oh scared of marriage like damn that girl's trying to like what like you know she's trying to get wifed Can't up put a like, ring on it. guys take way too long sometimes to like get married i just feel like if you just don't know by like two years at least mm -hmm. or even a year and a half then just leave like don't that's facts keep somebody there that's actually facts i yeah. think i think sometimes well some guys i think just don't put any stock into marriage itself like like i think um a lot of people put a lot of value and meaning behind marriage like to show that we're together in holy matrimony, et cetera. Yeah. But I think some guys out there are just like, well, I think that way regardless of whether or not we have a wedding. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's like a once in a lifetime, like celebration of love. Right. But I, I feel, so it's like for me, I think love is not shown mostly in those big gestures like that. I've told you this. I think love is more in the the small gestures the things you do every day for your partner that's what love really is so do you really need like i mean they're nice don't get me wrong mm -hmm. like on valentine's day or say having the wedding but at the end of the day it's like that's just such a small percentage of how much love you actually show your partner on a day-to-day -day basis like getting well, water sometimes like them. people are busy right right they were they're like both working they're so busy so taking the time like valentine's day or or remembering the month anniversary right it's showing effort yeah it's showing effort. it's like showing effort to allow like okay mm -hmm. hey we're, we're still working on ourselves and but we're also mm -hmm. remembering the relationship always dating i can see that yeah yeah there's a, there's definitely that side to it too but when it comes to marriage i think yeah i think it's special and like if if my significant other wanted a, like a huge wedding celebration sure why not like i'm not opposed to that but i think some guys just don't even think about it because if we're together we're together that's what it means to me the marriage is just extra fluff on top that i can understand but then it's like when you bring it up to the partner mm. like hey it's been like three years now uh, then it's like don't pressure me oh that the defensive yeah i mean it's like we discussed before if someone gets defensive or aggressive it's kind of like you know, you have to read that a certain way. I think you should leave. Right <laughs> yeah. when a guy says, don't pressure me. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. When you say don't pressure me. It's I mean, like, especially if you guys had been talking about it. Exactly. It's like, I feel like that's just a saying. Just so they don't have to talk about it. Because so many guys out there just say, 
don't pressure me. Like, if you pressure me, I'm not going to do it. So then the girls have to end up being quiet and basically, like, accept, which isn't right. Like, you shouldn't have to accept. You should, Mm -hmm. like, be able to have your own, like, voice and be like, okay, well, like, when? When is it that you won't feel pressured? When do you think this is an opportunity where we can talk about it? I remember, like, like, you and I, we love talking about relationships. Yeah the this guy dated would always be like why do we always have to talk about relationships in my mind i feel like that's just how you grow like that's how you can learn together and like grow together they don't think it's Mm -hmm. a bad thing to talk about relationships i actually think those people that don't talk about relationships and like want to learn and and open up about it are avoidance yeah definitely avoidant i mean either they don't want to um tell you how they really feel or You know, most people, I think, don't want to talk about subjects they don't know much about. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But then it's like, why not be open to it? Like a new subject that you're like uncomfortable with. Yeah, that would come down to like ego or something. Yeah. Usually. Mm -hmm. Or like feeling like they don't need to know or they already know or something. But definitely it's worthwhile to always talk about your relationship. Communication, like you always hear it, is going to be the key. Actually, I'm surprised that you're down for marriage, though. I thought that you would be anti-marriage. You think I'm anti-marriage? Yeah. Well, I mean, like I, I said, you'd be I'm not of like commitment. scared of commitment. No, like you're, com- you, you, I, I thought that you would be okay with committing to like a girlfriend long term. Like uh-huh. you've had long term relationships, so that yeah. was like okay. I just thought that marriage wasn't in like your sight. Like uh, that was something that was like, eh, like. Well, I mean, I'm I am sure. eh about it. I'm like. I can live with it or live without it. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Like, honestly, I think marriage is, I think it's a big waste of money, actually. Depends on who you're marrying. I think it's a huge, no, 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 no. No matter who you're marrying, how much are you spending? 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand? It's just like a regular party. 60 grand? It's a regular party if you think of it. 60 grand party, bro. Like, if I had that 60 grand... (laughs) I would just go travel the world with her for months at that point. Yeah. You rather than way spending the money. Way better memories. Yeah. I think so. I think the wedding actually isn't for the bride and groom. It's for the families. More Why? so. Because it's for them, really. Like, I think for me, I know I love this girl that I'm about to, you know, that I'm spending my time with, my life with. Right. I don't need to put it on display. But. I think the party, the family, it's for them. It's so that they can see it. They can experience it, you know, and be a part of your love with this person. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. That's how I see it. So that's why I'm just like, bro, I just take that money and fly. (laughs) Like, I'm not trying to. That's true. It is a a good, like, how good does it feel when you have, like, a huge family get together? Right. That's the feel. They want Uh, that feeling. It's like a. A ceremony where all the family can get Mm -hmm. together. I'm not saying like you're not doing it for yourself at all. I'm saying you're probably doing it more for your guests than you, in my opinion. Okay. For me, it's more of like for myself. And they're just there then. Yes. Like I don't care about having a ton of people. Oh, yeah. Because then the more people that you bring, the more money you have to spend. If I bring the closest people to me, then I could spend more money on just like food. Like giving you the quality food, like so you'd rather those intimate small yeah I want it to be a good memory like I want it to be like I I I personally don't want to do like you know how the husband and wife have to dance I don't like that I dread I don't want to do that I (laughs) I do not want to be the center of attention in that way I don't want anyone to look at me dancing I can't dance (laughs) I'm gonna step on on everyone's feet well you can practice you could classes (laughs) ain't no way you know way. But, but yeah, it's just like to me, it feels like um, they say like, oh, it's just for the law or it's just like for the government or whatever. I mean, yeah, the benefits. Obviously. I, guess. I mean, those are fine. But I see as like, I want to wear a white dress and I think I will look really cute. And it's like, <laughs> it's I just don't a photo up. shoot day for you. <laughs> yeah. It's just a photo. That's damn for brides it's definitely a photo shoot day look you don't get to dress up often okay and the one time you get to dress up like a princess and like have facials and hair and nails and all this glam like mm-hmm. it's not every day right and so having that is like so special to us 
and then having like this like fairy tale like i guess like movies have probably influenced that a lot of like the fairy tale life of the wedding and stuff like that but man i like it but i don't need to spend that much money i do just want like my close friends but you don't think like your parents are gonna want to invite like everybody oh they will because that happens i always hear that happening like two of my friends are going to get married they want it like they tell their parents hey you can invite two people no they invite like the whole village comes through (laughs) why and you're like (laughs) now you have to accommodate that yeah so like she had chosen this small venue then she had to change it to a big venue yeah and it's already stressful planning the wedding hence why they have wedding planners (laughs) but now it's like having to you know the logistics of moving stuff from here to here who sits where yeah. and like who are these sending people? all these people out make sure you have all their addresses mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and all that stuff yeah it's just a headache so i can see why but um yeah hopefully my parents don't like that my dad definitely wants me to get married in a cathedral oh and then like i'm just like Ugh. and the person the cathedrals has to are pretty cool though <laughs> they are they're, they're super pretty sick. cool like you can go to rome yeah, and you know, look at them. And you're like, holy! They're someone amazing. made this. Yeah, I only saw Can't online. I want to go in person though, for sure. I mean, one day we can go. Oh, you're gonna I'd pray? I'd be down to go. Would you pray in there? Why wouldn't I pray? Okay. Um. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Um, we are going to do some audio and videos next week. So, yeah, um, enjoy the videos when you see them. Okay, have a great uh time or if you're driving or whatever you're doing have a great whatever and see ya on the next episode of flow and tell don't forget to follow my socials we also have ty's socials who are, are also going to be in the description bar yep he is a businessman uh, and yeah, uh yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to also rate the podcast that helps me a lot and i appreciate you guys thank you very much see yous bye bye